The abundant array of plants in the Pantanal all reap the benefits of the snail's continual feeding and recycling. Yet this banquet comes at a cost. As August sets in, the yearly drought metamorphoses the wetland into an expansive grassy expanse speckled with petite muddy pools. Exposed and delectable, the snails become easy prey for myriad predators, particularly caimans. The calcium within the snail shells aids caimans in thickening their skins. However, being part of the menu is just the beginning. To sustain their crucial role in recycling, surviving snails must confront a formidable challenge, one that teeters the entire Pantanal ecosystem on the edge. With the resurgence of heavy rains in the South American highlands, rivers swell, breaching their banks and inundating the grassy plains anew. Ironically, this marks the most perilous period for the ecosystem. Swaths of submerged grass rapidly decay, depleting oxygen, the vital ingredient for life. The Pantanal suffocates. Dependent on snails to decompose dead grass and unlock nutrients, the ecosystem faces a predicament without oxygen, imperiling the snail's survival. Fortunately, the snail possesses a unique defense. Apple snails boast a specially adapted telescopic appendage extending up to 8 cm, a snorkel. By channeling air from the surface to a specialized lung, the snail replenishes its oxygen supply, enabling it to resume its vital task of recycling dead matter. Oxygen or not, the ceaseless feeding of millions of apple snails sustains the Pantanal, enriching it with nutrients, regardless of the challenges posed by the vast wetland.